Now, in a moment, we're going to talk about the emotional effects of investing in the wrong man, the man who will break your heart. This is known as your emotional marketplace. Now, what is the emotional marketplace? Well, before we get into the emotional marketplace, I think it's really important to address what men look at, and that's known as the sexual marketplace. That's right, the sexual marketplace. What is the sexual marketplace? Well, I first heard it when Kevin Samuels was around, and then recently today I heard it from a popular YouTube psychologist. And basically the sexual marketplace is how desirable is a woman in relationship to a man's resources and how much he's willing to commit. So basically, how much is a woman worth from basically a sexual perspective? Now, I'll be called a simp for saying what I'm about to say. And simp is basically a beta male who is a wimp. I know anyone who's watching this might call me this. But I think there's a lot more value to a woman than their sexual capacity within a relationship. Now, some people will say there's truth in this conversation of the sexual marketplace. And to some degree, men's desires are driven by their penis. This is a true statement. Oftentimes, the way we approach relationship is through sex. So it's understandable how it might be viewed this way. But I think it's more important to address from a woman's perspective the emotional marketplace. Now, what is the emotional marketplace? The emotional marketplace is how much a woman is going to invest emotionally before she gives her heart to a man. Now, I said her heart because we are talking about the emotions, but at the same time, we may want to factor in the physical aspects of a relationship as well. See, a woman, in my, my invitation for women who are watching this is to view a man from the perspective of his emotional maturity and his character. That's right, emotional maturity and his character. You see, women oftentimes give their power away based on those resources a guy might give you and also how much commitment he may provide for you. Isn't it fascinating that the decision for commitment all rests upon a man? I mean, traditionally speaking, and generally speaking as well. You see, men are the ones who ask you to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Men are the ones who do the proposing in marriages. And so women oftentimes are left waiting for a man to make a decision when it comes to commitment. That's why this is called the sexual marketplace, because he's evaluating how much resources he's willing to spend on you. But more importantly, is he going to commit to you? Before you even consider that, I want you to consider the emotional effects of investing in the wrong man. Let me repeat that. What are the emotional effects of investing with the wrong man? And you've already given your body to this man, so he's the wrong man. And if you keep giving your body to all the wrong men, you'll be, you'll, there's this uh, phrase that be, you'll be coined out there, what's your body count? What's your body count? Because you've given your physical attributes to a man before he's earned it. So what should you be considering from the emotional marketplace? Well, as I said earlier, women oftentimes give their power away. They abandon their self-worth to accommodate a man through the sexual marketplace. But I'm here to invite you to look at it from a deeper perspective. And let's start with his character. That's right, his character. Does his actions consistently match his words? Okay, a man that's in the sexual marketplace might do that. Is he generous and kind? Yeah, a man in the sexual marketplace could be doing that. Does he communicate clearly without wanting to be right? Yeah, this is where it gets kind of tricky because these men are, are only in it for the sexual marketplace. All they care about is their own needs being met. See, these men are oftentimes called users. They want the benefits of sex from you, and they're willing to give up some resources and pretend to be committal, if you will. But oftentimes, that the men who have bought into this narrative 
really only care about one thing, and these men will break your heart later on down the road. So they don't use people. They're clear about commitment. See, a man who's who has emotional maturity and character, he's very clear that commitment is an important component for a relationship. He hasn't bought into the narrative that marriage is evil, <laughs> if you will, or serious commitment is evil. Men with character and emotional maturity don't use people, and they're very clear about commitment. They have their act together, both physically and emotionally. And they don't chase sex, drugs, or alcohol, or partying as their way to soothe their emotional challenges that they might be faced with. Now, one of the most important factors for this type of man is he's healed from his past relationships. You know, we have a significant percentage of human beings that are incredibly unhealed from their past relationships. See, a man who's actually fallen in love at a very young age in his life, he oftentimes is very fearful. He has walls up. He has walls up. And so he may not be able to fully commit to a relationship. The other thing is about an emotionally mature man with character is that he's introspective. He works on himself be beyond his limitations, wounds, and traumas. And I don't mean he's doing Tony Robbins, rah, 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 let's make money, let's make money, let's make money. Okay, that might seem like they're doing personal development work because that's in the genre of personal development. But I'm talking about actually healing childhood wounds and adult traumas that oftentimes cause negative patterns and limiting beliefs in their life, particularly in their romantic life. Now, one thing about an emotionally mature man with character is he's protective and empathetic of the women he's investing in. See, he's not in it for the sexual marketplace. He's in it because there's something deeper to a relationship than just the physical attributes. And these men believe demonstrating trust is paramount in their life. And trust is is this other per do I have this other person's best interest at heart? You see, when men are just approaching the sexual marketplace, and I know a lot, and by the way, if you're not familiar with this, I highly invest doing some uh, YouTube searches for yourself. But I'm inviting a new conversation. I am coining emotional marketplace because ladies, you are making an emotional investment as well as a physical investment when you're sexual with someone because you can bond with the wrong guy. You can bond with the wrong guy. And I'm here to invite you to do a bit of vetting before you make a physical as well as an emotional investment with a man. Folks, hey, we just talked about a really important conversation, the emotional marketplace. In comparison to the sexual marketplace, I'm here to say is the emotional investment you make into a man can directly affect your emotional well-being. That's right. It can directly affect your emotional well-being. And so I'm here to say before you even remotely consider someone from a dating perspective, do your homework ahead of time first, meaning get really crystal clear on who you are and what you want. And then during the process of dating, vet, vet for their emotional maturity, vet for their character. Because quite frankly, these days, we're walking around with a loaded gun like this. And the minute you're with the wrong person, it's like clicking the button. And what I mean is emotionally speaking, it can be heartbreaking. And I want you to avoid heartbreak at any and all costs. Is this thinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know if it is. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. As always, if you find value in this video, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well. And if you want to connect with me, check out the links below to schedule a discovery call with me to find, uh, follow me, my group called Midlife Love Mastery. Follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff listed below. And I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Barrick of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives.